Arkansas. I'm going to do this video to show you how you mix the packets. I'm selling these packets for both uh, microgreens and uh, lettuce nutrient. It's a master blend calcium nitrate and Epsom salt blended formula uh, based basically on the master blend recipe but I blended it to make the particles finer. So all you need to do is I, I put some uh, gloves on because these are dry fertilizer they're readily available to absorbed water and that includes if you get it on your skin so if you get this on your skin what can happen is it can take the moisture out of your fingers and cause your fingers to peel so all we're going to do is we're going to take one of these packets and we're going to mix it in a one gallon jug this is a milk jug of warm water if the water is warm it'll mix better than if it's cold plus you want a minimum of a gallon's worth of water to help prevent precipitate fallout um, sometimes when you mix them incorrectly or different uh, the chemicals within the dry fertilizers will combine and if you have the least amount of water that you do this with the more chance that it's going to create the participate in the water. So you just take and empty one of the bags in the jug put the jug on, you shake it quick shake like that and leave it for about five minutes then we'll come back in five minutes and I'll show you what it looks like all right it's been some time probably about 30 minutes I went and did something else and I'm taking it so the water's still quite warm and it's mixed in here thoroughly and I've got two half gallon um, I hate to say mason that's what I commonly refer to these these are balls but anyway these are half gallons and two of them make a gallon and the reason why I'm going to pour it in here is just so you can see what it looks like in a clear glass jar instead of this opaque one gallon milk jug So why am I doing this? It's because a lot of people have issues with pers precipitate dropout. <laughs> I can't say that word today. Um, it's where there's particles in there. And there's likely always going to be some degree or participant. There you go. Participant dropout. And so it's not going to hurt anything to a small degree. I'll show you this here. If there is some, it won't hurt it. But I don't see, I see maybe just a little bit, just a little bit floating around in here. And um, if, if you don't like it, you can take a coffee filter and just filter it out, pour one into the other, what have you. Uh, but it really doesn't hurt anything to this small degree. Like I, I barely saw any in here. But um, <clears throat> a lot of times the, mac the package for Master Blend will say mix the Master Blend first and thoroughly make sure it's completely mixed and then you add the Epsom salt into the same container and then you thoroughly mix that till it's completely mixed and then you add the calcium nitrate in and then you stir it and thoroughly mix it until there's so you can't see anything but for whatever reason even when you follow that to that degree sometimes you'll have some participant fallout and the way these are being sold as little packages for convenience sake you just dump it in a full gallon of water there's almost none that falls out there's no floaties in here and whatever you do find, if there is a little bit, it's not going to hurt anything. So that's really the main reason why I made this whole video. One was to let you know that you need to use warm water. You need to put it in a one gallon container or larger. Um, because this, these two, this one gallon actually makes two gallons a mix. And to wear gloves so it doesn't um, cause your skin to peel because it's taking the oils and stuff out of your fingers when you, if you touch it directly and that's basically it and to address the 
common question of participant fallout. And there you go. Sprint. We'll see you later.